From his humble beginnings as a child model to TV actor to movie superstar, Michael B. Jordan has gradually stepped further and further into the national spotlight. This talented young man has built up an empire for himself with an estimated $8 million and owns his own production company, Outlier Society, with multiple films already in development. But want to hear the most amazing thing about all of that? He's managed to do it all while still living at home with his parents in a house that he bought for them in Sherman Oaks, California. I'm really proud of you. You finally moved out from uh, living with your parents. It happened. Thank you, yes. Oh, man. After being featured in commercials for companies like Toys R Us and Modell, Jordan landed the role of Wallace in HBO's The Wire. Damn, Cyril, look. Goja, you work in the ground stash. 20 tall pigs. Two fans come up to you and ask for two each. Another one cops three. Then Bodie hands you off ten more. But some white guy rolls up in the car, waves you down, and pays for eight. How many vials you got left? Fifteen. How the f you able to keep the count right? You're not able to do the book problem here. Michael would go on to be featured in television series like All My Children and Friday Night Lights. Then in 2015, he starred in both Fantastic Four and Creed, snagging himself BET and NAACP Best Actor Awards for his performance as Adonis Johnson. And the NAACP Image Award goes to Michael B. Jordan. This is Michael B. Jordan's first NAACP Image Award win. He is also nominated tonight for Entertainer of the Year. And taking the time to shout out his family during his acceptance speech. All of this set him up for a massive 2018 when he was paid $2 million to star as supervillain Eric Killmonger in the box office smash hit Black Panther. So to be able to take that kind of pain and rage and, and all those emotions that Eric kind of uh, represents from being black and brown here in America, I just did whatever I felt I needed to do or whatever I felt was right in the moment every step of the way. That film would go on to grow to 1.35 billion worldwide and cement Jordan as one of the best and most in-demand actors in Hollywood. He rounded out the year with Creed 2 and then revealed in a GQ cover story at the end of that year that surprise, surprise, he still lived with his parents. But don't worry ladies, he did his own laundry. It's a pretty wrinkled shirt, as you can see. Lay it down like that on the back, take the iron, smooth, deliberate strokes. I don't like it too crispy, I don't like too many creases, but just enough to get rid of the wrinkles. It's kind of therapeutic, you know? He told UK Paper at the Times, Look, it's every kid's dream to buy their mom and dad a house. And that's exactly what he did in 2015 after purchasing a home for his family in Sherman Oaks for $1.7 Of course, even the happiest of families can stay together forever, and it was always Jordan's plan to move out eventually to what he told GQ would be a bachelor pad with a pool. Well, apparently, Jordan has finally gone around to doing just that. So did you get that pool? Stick around and you'll find out. Hey guys, it's Kara and today I'm bringing you another house tour here for you in Famous Entertainment. This one taking a look at the homes of Michael B. Jordan. You guys have been asking for this one for quite a while now and I can't wait to share this talented actor's home life with all of you. We'll take a look at his Sherman Oaks home and his bachelor pad in the Hollywood Hills. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jamie Foxx and Denzel Washington and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Michael, dear parents. Michael! Look who's back! You're leaving. Hi. Here. Hey. Don't thank you. Your life. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right, man. See you later, All right. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> the perks of parents. Let's kick things off with the home Jordan bought for his folks, Donna and Michael A. Jordan. Hold on, his dad's name is Michael A. Jordan? I see what they did there. Clever. Anyway, Michael B. bought the property in 2015 for $1.7 <clears throat> The home started off as a modest teardown project. The original developer bought the land for around $700,000 in June of 2013 and then replaced it with the Spanish style contemporary building that you see here. Jordan then purchased the 4,572 square foot home that comes with its own pool and spa. 
Once the renovations were completed, the home featured 4.5 bathrooms with 4 bedrooms and the rooms all looked radically different. Take for instance the living room which is now the very epitome of class and style with its formal furniture arrangement. Right beside the living room is a tastefully decorated family room with a giant map on the wall which Michael uses to reminisce about all the different places he's been to across the world and those he's still yet to visit. Coolest place. Cape Town, South Africa. Okay, and what's the location that you love to go to? Oh man, I'm obsessed. Tokyo, Japan. At the very top of the stairwell is Michael's home office. So what do we uh, have in this room over here? Oh, this is where all the creativity happens. A lot of work, a lot of writing, a lot of thinking. A little further down the hall is Michael's bedroom, and while he didn't offer us a glimpse of his bed, we know he's got a ton of beverages on hand in there, both of the apple juice and the adult variety. Favorite beverage? Uh, apple juice, you want one? Yeah. Back downstairs, the kitchen is top of the line and features a marble island, stainless steel appliances, and low hanging chandelier style lighting. What's up? Hey, how are you? Doing good, I know. Good, good, good. Good yeah. to see you. So, what do we have over here? Oh, oh. it's my grandmother's uh, famous rum kicks. They're amazing. You take one home, too. Outside is a gorgeous pool and patio combination where Jordan would spend a whole lot of time with his folks for family style cookouts. Okay, can you uh, tell me something about your father before uh, we meet him? Don't look around the eyes. Right. Noted. Of course, since Michael bought the place, he deserves to have his own personal spot to decompress and get away from his family, so he turned his garage into a pretty awesome personal gym and man cave combination. Alright, now that we've got an idea of how Jordan used to live his life with his parents, let's move about 20 minutes down the road to Hollywood Hills and have a look at his new place. Late last year, Jordan shelled out $5.8 million for this 3 bedroom, 3 bath compound. While visiting with Ellen on her talk show, he told her about his decision to move. It sounds to me like the biggest selling feature for this 4,530 square foot home is its close proximity to its family, which might be one of the sweetest things I've ever heard. But if being close to family isn't enough for him, just wait to hear whose neighbors are. Jordan purchased this house from former MTV VJ Daisy Fuentes, and its current neighbors include Lady Gaga, Robert Pattinson, and One Direction singer Niall Horan. Now unfortunately, pictures of the inside of this place are basically non-existent since this was an off-market deal between Fuentes and Jordan. But tax documents reveal that it features a private balcony on the top floor that overlooks a large backyard space. It also features a three car garage and motor court to round out the front of the property. It's located on an acre of land where the house is practically invisible from the street front and tucked behind a layer of evergreen trees. As for Jordan's dream feature, a giant pool, well don't worry guys, he's got himself one on this property. But until Michael invites his family over and starts filming the get togethers, we'll have to wait to find out more about what his new house is like on the inside. If it's anything like the tasteful interior of his parents home, you just know it's gotta be something worth seeing. So help us out Michael and start throwing some get togethers. Alright, I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end here. What did you guys think of Michael B. Jordan's two homes? Which one would you prefer to live in? Let's just pretend that whichever house you choose, his parents moved to the other one. But hey, maybe some of you would like to live with them and get the inside story about what Michael is really like. Of course, as we can tell from this story, Michael is a great guy who puts his family first in the type of way that's refreshing to hear about in today's world. Never move too far away from them, Michael, but seriously, pictures of your new place. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!